hi i have decided to make this video on how to make a simple desk in onship using frame okay this one is just a beginners those who use onship frames the, for the beginner video okay let's start a new part studio and rename desk two. We need a, a sketch on top plane. Sketch a center rectangle of dimension uh, dimension one two thousand millimeters by a thousand millimeters like that this is the main sketch main sketch or, or bottom profile main sketch you can give it in a name then this, this, this is the sketch that will define our bottom profile then we need to define our side profile create a sketch on a plane that passes through this line therefore select sketch i'm going to use a mate connector instead of a sketch plane at this point but i want the x y plane to be perpendicular to the top plane therefore click the mate connector we want to to we want to realign the mate connector just select the mate connector here select uh, realign for the primary axis it's our z axis to be parallel this along x axis and for my z axis will be parallel to x axis such that the x y plane is perpendicular to the top plane that's fine then we need a corner rectangle you can select G for the corner rectangle from this point to that point then dimension height to be 750 and this one is side sketch okay next step is cre creating the profiles we need not to create the the frames on this on these edges you select the frame some time to load okay uh, let me zoom to fit let me cancel you select the frame for the profile you have to use the you can either use the current document profiles other document or the frame therefore for the frames i need to use i want to use 40 by 40 i want to use uh, 8, 820 standard 40 by 40 means 40 in 40 in width and 40 in length that is 40 series and i need 40 by 40 let me use 40 by 40 this means this is 40 and this length is 40 done then for the selections i need to select these edges these edges like that okay then then i need you can see now it automatically uses you can press w phone to zoom to a certain area just press w and zoom you can see it is using a meter edge but i need but if you go right plane this is how the but is 
I need to make sure that I need to do some editing here such that this line this this, this one is short to make this shorter this top to be short to be between these two you can override corner I want to override this corner and this one here because I want this one this frame to be shorter therefore reverse yeah that's fine the same case applies to this you can reverse before I select ok I want to see the the frame if you go top, if you select top, you can see my frame is outside my sketch. Therefore, I need my if go front. I want my my sketch to be along this point, like that. Then from top, I want them to be at this point such that the, pre the frame is inside the sketch yeah All right. sheet 7 for isometric view and select ok step 2 we have now created these these 4 frames we can now mirror to create this then we can transform to create this too let me illustrate i need to mirror all this therefore select everything mirror this using a right a right plane like that then i need to connect these two you can now select the the main sketch i need now to create another frame onto the, for the profile i want to use now a different profile i want to use uh, for 4003 let me use this profile done for the selection this edge I want this now to go inside, therefore I need a point that is outside, therefore I need now to use this point as my locating. This one to make sure that the sketch passes through this point, ensuring that this frame is inside. If you zoom here, you can see. Then I can say can use meter no problem like that i need now to shorten this on shorten this frame i can if you press y you can hide a, a, a part by pressing y shift y to show y to hide shift y to show if i need now to shorten this by 500 therefore select move face this face to be shorter by 500 reverse can see that is shorter then shift y show it back then i want to mirror this the other side therefore select mirror this at front plane new not add Then I need I need now to trans, transform this this frame to this point. I need to measure. Let me measure from this edge face to this face. We have 540. Therefore, I need to transform this by 540. Select transform entities to transform or copy this one and this. You want to trans these are several ways you can translate but don't use by distance by distance you have to select the election along the, 
this direction. I can use this edge as my reference. Then I want to use a 540 on the other side to make sure that these two faces are parallel. You can see here it's a 0 mm this separation distance. But you see what happened. They, they moved from this point to this point. Therefore, you have to select copy. You want to copy that to move. Then we need another frame that connects this point to this point. You can go to frame. I'm going to use a double one that is a uh, I'll use a 404080. Yeah, this is a double. The reason the reason why it is 80. Standard means you can see here series 40 means it is a width. This 80 means there are two. Okay. Therefore, you select done. For the selection, you can use a sketch, an edge, or a point. A vertex like that then another vertex here this point I'm using the a point that is outside so that the, this face you can see now the face is this there's, there's some material outside if you want this material to go inside select this last point Seems good now. If you select OK, see what happens. This material interferes with this. No problem. We can solve that. If you go back to frame, can edit. You can limit. You can now. You, you, you can trim the frame with respect to. I want this the edge the ed surface of this frame bro, to be on this surface. At this side, same thing like that. Now, if I zoom in here, you can see now they don't interfere. Yeah, beauty. Then I want to mirror this one. I can transform. I can transform this this frame to this point. But let me illustrate another way. You can use a MATI connector to do the mirroring. Select mirror, your part. For the plane, use a MATI connector and select one of the edges here. This, if you select the edge, the MATI connector is usually at the middle. You can see a 40 is protruding up, out. If you fit here, zoom to this point if you measure this to this let's see is uh, this to this you can see it is 40 because we have uh, another 40 that is protruding downwards i can fix this by let me go back to mirror by changing the Changing the the mirror the, the mirror plane, click the mid connector and move by 20. But the other direction negative 20. Negative 20 there. Yeah. Okay. Now you can see they match well. Okay. Next step, therefore, next step is to create another frame that is between this point to this point, another one from this point to this point. Then we mirror the frame again. Select the frame. Let me change the profile to use, let me use 4082 light here. 482 light done selections I said you have to use outside vertex like that outside vertex 
you see what happens therefore you select the top is the locating no worries the interfere you can always trim limit frame adds to this face and add this face okay like that okay another one frame this point to this point here same same profile as I, as I said this point if you select this point what happens selecting these two vertex this two, this vertex and this vertex if you use this point it ensures that a line because the software in the background creates a line from this point at to this point then it swipes the profile that's what is happening let me illustrate by a, a quick example if you select the front like this let me use a center circle with a center let me use let me use uh, such a profile uh, oops, let me use the other side yeah like that uh, let me trim here see okay what is happening it is taking the profile by selecting this at uh, this end point it, it assumes that there is a let me let me put a plane at this point it puts a plane at this point then at this plane let me sketch a line it connects like this yeah what the software does it takes the profile the profile the profile you define the profile the one you are defining here then once you select the point this is the line that is going to sweep it uses the sweep it sweeps the profile it uses a solid takes the sketch it uses the path to make the to make the frame the same case applies by changing this point it ensures that the frame is inside these are the the bounding box of my of my material therefore it will make sure that the, not all material are inside from this point you can see now the frame goes down if you select the center it will distribute material some outside some inside if you go right here you can see some outside some inside because you're using the center option therefore always make use of this point well to locate your profile like that okay last we can now use mirror command new of these two using a, a front using a front plane like that is a new okay like that then we need to design the top section here this top section go back you can just make a quick sketch on this surface sketch normal i'm using a center rectangle You select the outside edge and this coincident outside edge and this coincident isometric extrude can use maybe can use 50 like that and your basic desk using on shape frames is done I'll make another video that is a bit advanced for the frame. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.